This is Asus Zenfone AR, the world's first smartphone that is certified for both Tango the augmented reality and Daydream VR the virtual reality. Besides, Asus Zenfone AR is also one of the world's most powerful smartphones. It has Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 SoC which is specially optimized to take full advantage of AR and VR capabilities. Moreover, the handset has 8 GB of RAM to take care of multitasking and there is 128 GB of internal memory. I am Rohit Arora from Gizbot and this is the first impressions of Asus Zenfone AR which is priced at Rs 49,999 and will sell exclusively on Flipkart. So let's get started. in the intro part this handset supports both tango and daydream virtual reality technologies uh, let me just give you a small demo of how the pre-installed application works on this uh, smartphone so here we have a small application holo which will show you how the augmented reality look like on this 2k screen so as you can see uh, we have hillary clinton and uh, donald trump on the screen however uh, what i am seeing in real life there's no uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, there is just the White House in the background on a wallpaper and the phone's augmented reality engine is placing uh, both the uh, uh, leaders on the front. And here we have the entire suite of applications which supports AR and VR ecosystem. However, I do not have the Google uh, Daydream virtual reality headset with me so I cannot show you the exact results of uh, AR and VR support. But the output is really amazing. and. Uh, so you get an entire suite of preloaded applications and there are some other applications which you can install from Google Play Store. As of now, the uh, developers are still working to produce the virtual reality and augmented reality content and applications. But still, there are lots of applications that you can try if you buy this smartphone. Uh, talking about some other aspects of this handset, one of the highlight of the smartphone is its uh, rear camera unit. So Asus Zenfone AR gets that, that is three camera units at the rear side. A 23 megapixel main camera that lets users uh, view virtual objects in their actual environment as you can see right now. Besides, we have a motion tracking camera that lets the Asus Zenfone AR track its location as it moves throughout the 3D space because this uh, there's some application that let you place real life objects in, uh, in your virtual world. So besides, we have a depth sensing camera that helps the smartphone sense its distance from real objects, real world objects by shooting an infrared beam and calculating the time it takes for it to reflect the objects and return back. So it's high complexity uh, uh, ecosystem and uh, uh, hardware that Asus has developed to um, support the AR and VR technologies on this handset. And it's quite unique. This makes this one of its kind handset in the Indian market right now because no other handset comes with both AR and VR support. Besides, we have lots of uh, features in the camera interface. You get HDR Pro, you get beautification, low light, pro mode and besides you get an entire suite of filters as well. Talking about the display, we have a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED WQHD display that gives you a resolution of 2560 into 1440. Uh, the screen is protected by Gorilla Glass 4 and uh, the pixel density here stands it's uh, 515 ppi which is quite required because this handset has to support both VR and AR and uh, that kind of uh, uh, ecosystem really needs a crisp and sharp display. Coming out to some other aspects of the hardware of smartphone, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 CPU which is specially optimized to support AR and VR. The smartphone runs Android 7.0, uh, Android Nougat out of the box and comes with Asus Zen UI which we have tested previously in some of Asus Zen phones and which works quite well but is sometimes quite cluttered because of preloaded applications. Talking about other aspects, we have 128GB of internal storage out of which 109GB is available for actual storage and you can also expand the internal memory by up to 2TB with the help of a microSD card slot. This is a hybrid microSD card slot, not a dedicated microSD card slot. And uh, uh, the smartphone display is quite sharp, it's a Sumer AMOLED panel so the colors will look quite punchy and vibrant. I'm yet to test this smartphone's uh, uh, real performance, the real camera performance, the display performance in outdoor conditions which we will evaluate in our comprehensive review. Here on the right side we have the volume rockers and power button and we, we have the hybrid card slot. Up uh, bottom we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, a type-c USB port and up top we have a micro 
phone. Uh, the speaker unit is also placed on the bottom. Uh, the smartphone has a 5.7 inch uh, WQHD display as I mentioned which gives you a 79% screen to body ratio and ASUS uh, says that it has a response time of 1 millisecond and uh, this is just uh, a, a virtual tour of uh, Tango uh, ecosystem so as you can see uh, we have a leather finish at the rear side which we have previously seen with ASUS and phone AR so this you can see is the Tango's uh, uh, virtual tour where you can experience the Tango technology. We will talk more about the Tango and uh, AR and VR support on this handset. This was just the first impressions and we will have to explore the complete potential of Asus Zenfone AR in our comprehensive review. So this was pretty much everything about Asus Zenfone AR. I hope you liked the video. Do subscribe our Gizbot YouTube channel for the latest videos in the world of technology. This is Rohit Aroda signing off from Gizbot. Have a good day.